car and all clear or for, until he could hear the traffic again. There was nothing wrong with him. There was nothing wrong with him. Any man that would kill Iraqi children instead of taking care of his own is sicker than a rabid dog. That's what he kept telling Crystal. Crystal got in the habit of telling everybody what a fool Bo Willie was. Always had been, always will be. Didn't he go uptown telling everybody that the child wasn't his? That it was some no-counts bastard? That any city police can take him whenever they want. As soon as the blood testing shit comes back, everybody would know that Crystal was a no-good lying whore. And this, after she had been his girl since she was 13, and he caught her in the stairway. He came back crazy as hell. He tried to get veterans benefits because he wanted to go back to school. But they kept putting him in remedial classes because Bo Willie couldn't rework the dam. He cussed out the teachers, said they were trying to hold him back. So he went uptown and got himself a jitney cab. But the jitney cab kept breaking down and the cops was always messing with him and he wasn't making any money. And Crystal? Crystal went and got pregnant again. Bo Willie almost beat her to death. She still has a scar under her right tip from where he cut her up. But she had the baby anyway. A little girl, Naomi Kenya. And a boy, Kwame Bo Willie. And there was no end. <laughs> How the hell did he get in this mess? How the hell did he get in this mess? Somebody went and told Crystal that he was spending all of his money on a bartender bitch down at the merry-go-round cafe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bo Willie sat up in his bed, sheets wrapped around him tight like he was John the Baptist or a big old baby with stubble and nuts. <laughs> 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 he had to get all this shit out of Crystal's mind because she put a court order out against Bo Willie. He had no access to his children. If he showed his face again, he was subject to arrest. Shit. She been wanting to get married ever since she was 14 years old, and now she's 22. She don't want to have nothing to do with him. She started hollering and laughing. What you want to marry me now for? <laughs> so I can take care of your ass? <laughs> so I can sit with you in and lock you up? Because they going to come and get you. <laughs> the police, they going to get you. And I'm not going to have nothing to do with it. I wouldn't marry your pitiful black ass for nothing. <laughs> and she went on to bed. <laughs> the next day, Bo Willie came in swinging. Chairs at Crystal. Tables. She didn't know what was going on until he started letting her, you gonna marry me. You gonna marry me, woman. And when she got tired, when he got tired of the chairs and the tables, he went over and he got the high chair. And little Kwame was in it. And he picked up that chair and he beat Crystal with it. He beat her with little Kwame. And all of a sudden some notion came over him and he just stopped and ran out. Crystal almost died. The police wouldn't allow Bo Willie around her place no more. She started telling all of the children how their daddy tried to kill her and Kwame. But he just wanted a family. He just wanted to take care of the kids. But the bitch was crazy. <laughs> Bo Willie was in this hotel. He was sitting there drinking wine and coffee, and he was spilling all this shit all over himself, and he was laughing like, I'm gonna marry Crystal. We gonna get married, and I'm gonna take care of her, and she don't have to work no more. So Bo Willie, he put on his ivory shirt and his checkered pants, and he went on over to Crystal's rooms, 
and he knocked on the door and Crystal didn't answer. So he beat on the door and Naomi and Crystal started crying. And he started shouting, you gonna marry me? Do you always want to be a whore? Don't you want to have a husband? Get away, Bo Willie. Just leave us alone. Just leave us alone, Bo Willie. The police gonna come and get you. Just leave us alone. Bo Willie broke the door down. Crystal grabbed the kids to her. Little, she picked little Kwame off the floor. She held her, her hand on Naomi's shoulder tight. Bo Willie motioned towards the children. If you come near my children, motherfucker, I will kill you. Bo Willie backed off all humble and apologetic. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just want to, I just want to, I just want to hold them. I don't want to hurt them. I wanted to marry you. I wanted to give you things. But what you going to give me? A broke jaw? Bo Willie ignored Crystal's outburst and he motioned for little Naomi to come to him. And she smiled at her daddy. And Crystal held on tight. But Naomi pushed her arm away from her and she walked over, Daddy, Daddy, come back, Daddy. But be nice to mommy, because mommy loves you. Just come back. But Willie put little Naomi on his lap. He, they started playing fingers and toes, and he counted the ribbons in her hair. He looked over at Crystal. See, I can be a good father. Now let me hold my son. Come on. Crystal looked at him like a statue. So he coaxed and he coaxed. Hey, baby, you look good. You're so pretty and you're so strong. Remember that time we had that fight and you got up the next day and went back to work? <laughs> <laughs> Bo Willie oozed kindness. And Crystal, who had known so little, let Bo Willie hold Willie. The next minute, Bo Willie got up laughing. I right, bitch! I right, bitch! You gonna marry me now? You gonna marry me now? I'm not gonna marry you, Bo Willie. Just give me back my children. I'm not gonna marry you. Just give me back my children. Bo Willie kicked the screen out the window. He held the children over the fifth floor, the sill in the window. He started sweating. He heard all of the people shouting. And he said, you're going to marry me. I'm going to marry you, baby. I love you. Just, 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 just bring the children in the house. I, I'm, I'm going to marry, I'm going to marry you. We're going to get married. Just bring the children in the house. Bo Willie looked down at the neighbors and he said, tell all the neighbors. <coughs> tell them you're going to marry me. I looked down at little Naomi with her arms raised at me and baby Kwame yelling, Mommy, Mommy, over the fifth story. And all I could do was whisper, and he dropped her.